Hi there! Today I want to share with you my experience in pouring a nebula. It was quite a teachable moment for me, and if it helps you avoid the mistakes I made, then it was time well spent. I am Mariana Laura Teodorescu, and this is my journey in pouring acrylics. I want to say from the start that this particular technique has merit and definitely will try it again. I saw it done before and sparked my interest. I wish I could give credit to the person that came up with it first, but when I went back to look for it, I could not find it. So, if you know who it was, please leave the name in the comments. The plan contained three stages. Lay down the background, which are opaque and metallic colors, let it dry, pour a layer of flow troll, which by the way dries transparent, and add pearl colors to it, which are semi-opaque. Quite simple, right? Well, it went all right until it didn't. Here's how and when.
So up to this point, everything went according to plan. Added the final touches, the canvas was dry and ready for varnish. I start prepping for varnishing as usual with soapy water and microfiber cloth when all the hell breaks loose. My canvas turns into a semi-opaque, milky white color and my heart sinks. I wipe it down with a microfiber cloth rinsed in clear water and let it dry. Once dried, even though not milky white anymore, all my embellishment was smeared, if not gone altogether. In the future, when I use this technique, I will skip cleaning and I will seal my canvas with spray varnish, which I ended up doing in this case, after trying to salvage what I could. And this is the final result. Is it recovered or not? I let you decide. For me, this was quite a teachable moment. And like every journey, sometimes you encounter setbacks. I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave me a note in the comments below. Thank you for watching! And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of my new clips. See you soon!